Hello guys, in the last video I have shown you how to use setter and getter method to protect your member variable from accessing by the other classes or the main class. And I have also shown you why we need to use setter and getter and why it's a good practice to use setter and getter in object oriented programming. Now C sharp has its own way of setting and getting these values and that is through properties. Through properties you can also uh, do the same thing and even better uh, by setting and getting the values and not exposing your uh, uh, member variables of the class. So in the la last video I have given you an example of book class which has the member variable book ID, book name and book number of pages. And I have shown you how you can protect these variable uh, by using set method and get method. So if you haven't seen that video, please see that video so that you can understand uh, uh, the setter and getter method. And I'm using the same uh, code from the last time. So we have the book class and these three member variable and I, I have shown you how you can set and get values right. Now let's see how we can do achieve the same thing to protect your variable by properties. So first of all I have shown you how you can set or you can create setter and getter method for this id of the book. And we have just used the set ID and get ID. Now let's see how we can do it by properties, the same thing. So what we need to do here is instead of the setter and getter method, we use public and the return type, which is in our case integer because ID is an integer. So we will write int, public int and give the name of your property. So for ID I will give for example this property called ID and this will not take any argument here and for setting the values I use the keyword set and then in these curly braces I just enclose my earlier set setter method like this and in a similar way what I will do is I will just use the keyword get and I will use these curly braces and in this I will return my id which is this variable. So how we have declared this uh, property id here we have used keyword to set the value and how we are setting the values in the same way we have done in the setter method but instead of uh, this id because this set is not taking any argument right and for example i want to set id so instead of set id method what i can say is id b1 which is uh, the object of book class and we can say b1.id is equal to 10 for example. So I set the id is equal to 10. Now where this 10 goes in this uh, property. So it's it, we use the keyword value to assign that pro property or assign that value to your set method because it's not taking any argument right so we use keyword so whenever for example you assign b1 which is an or ob object dot our property name which is id is equal to 10 this 10 will be stored in this value and then it will uh, see if this value is less than 0 and if it's uh, less than zero it will show uh, the exception or throw the exception otherwise it will assign this value to your id right 
and when you call this id so for example i want to access the id i can simply use my b1.id and replace it here right and let me comment this second console.write line so now to access your id you just need to use b1.id okay instead of get method so this is how you define a property in c sharp you use set method to set the value and just remember that you need to use this value to uh, store whatever is assigned to your variable or you, whatever you is uh, assigned to your id and then to get the value you just return it here like this and to access this value you just need to give the same thing b1.id right we can do it do the same for our uh, book name class we have declared uh, set book name and get book name right so i will just delete this argument because we uh, our property will not take any argument but it will return a string so i will declare public string and let name this property book name right and for setting once again we use the keyword set and in these curly braces we enclose our code for setting the value right and for getting the value we use the keyword get once again get and in these two curly braces we return whatever we want to return so string or we will just return this okay and we can de uh, delete this get and set method and th this will do just fine this will works just fine so for example for uh, setting the book name i can say b1 dot and it will give me this property now which is called book name right and i can assign any value to the book name like this as we assign it to some variable so i will give the name the c sharp book okay and i can access it once again very simply just copy this and you can exit this access this property like this so when i run the program it shows some error let's see what's okay because i haven't used the keyword value here and it doesn't know what this is so i need to pass in the value keyword this will this just remember always it doesn't take any argument set method doesn't take any argument instead of argument you just need to pass the keyword value here and value here right now when i run the program it shows the result book id is 10 which we have assigned and book name is c sharp book okay so i can say book name is c sharp now if you have remembered in the last video we also have uh, this variable called number of pages and it was we we have already assigned a value to number of pages as 250 so it's not possible to set the value for a number of pages so how we can define the property for this instead of this uh, get number of pages what we can do is we can just only use get property and we can avoid using set property for that and now it will just give you the value of number of pages but you cannot set the value of number of pages so just i will just copy this and i will say book pages is and 
I can call this property number of pages here. Okay, and when I run the program, it will run fine. Book pages is 250. Okay, now if you don't have any conditions and you just uh, need simple set and get method, for example, you don't need if can if your id is less than zero or you need don't need to check that if your book name is null and you just need to set and get value without any spe special conditions like uh, i have illustrated in the last video for example i will give you an example so i have a, a private member private int this will be int and we have uh, for example author so this let's take it as a string and author so we have author uh, private member so for getting and uh, getting and setting uh, this private member what we can do so we can define public which I have shown you in the last video right public void void and then your set author property so I will just use this and I will say set author and what I can do I can pass a string variable for setting and I can just use public string and get author same get author for getting the value right so this I have shown you in the last video what this you can do here right and in here I will use the author string author and this author will be assigned to this author so this dot author is equal to your author you pass right and you can return this in get method or return this dot author so if you don't have any condition uh, to check and you will have or when you program a class you will have many field uh, in which you don't even need any condition you don't even need to check any condition and you will just set and get value like this so it's more easier to handle these uh, things or these uh, codes by using properties so what we can do instead of using this getter and setter simple getter and setter without any conditions I will say public and the return type which is string and I will say this property is called author and then I will enclose it in this curly brace and I can say get and set okay and this property will work same as these two getter and setter function so your code is reduced very much here right this property get and set just using these two get and set your c sharp uh, code will know that the set will have to set the property or set the variable some variable and this get is used to access uh, the value of the variable right so I can just remove this getter and setter 
and instead of that i can use this property and even you can make this code really small like this and this will become a one line code for you right instead of uh, writing getter and setter method you can just use get and set if you don't have any condition right and let's try to assign some value to the author property and uh, access it so i will use p1 dot author you can see author property is visible and let's say author name is for example programming knowledge okay and i can access it simply by b1 dot author okay so book author author is b1 dot author and when i run the program it will work fine okay so this property makes uh, it simple to get and set values uh, of the member variable so i hope you have understood the concept of properties and i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now